Okay, Aquarius, so let's get into your pre-shuffle. Let's see what messages the universe wants you to know. All right, so we have second chances. Almost there. We have I love you. Case of the X. We have fights. We have Battle of the Wits. The card almost slipped out of my hand. Missing You. We also have Foolish. And let me just get one more. We have Taming the Beast. So some of you could be dealing with a Leo. You make them putty in your hands. They know their old conquering ways will not work with you. All right, so someone feels like they have to change their ways in order to have a second chance with you. We also have foolish. They feel like a fool for crossing the line and messing up the connection, but too embarrassed to come forward and say so. Their life feels empty without you. They miss you more than words can say, but they think it's too late to fix things. And then we have battle of the wits until both of you learn to let your guards down and be vulnerable. This love will continue to be a battle. So some of you may have had a fight with your person. But we have case of the X. I miss you. Could we start over? So we have missing you twice here. And we have that this person loves you. I love you more than I have ever found a way to say to you. And we have almost there. Answers are close. Don't give up. Some of you could have blocked this person. We have opening up. We also have mood swings. So sometimes you feel like this person, they don't come towards you the way you want them to or they don't act the way you want. It's like you never know what you're going to get from whoever this is with the mood swings. This person may have bipolar issues. Um, we also have I closed the door before, but I'm now ready to let you in. And we have blocked. So I feel like some of you blocked this person. Now, you may have blocked this person because they left you hanging. I'm sorry for leaving you hanging without any explanation. And then we also have regret. I regret walking away. I wish I knew then what I know now. We have plotting. They're stepping up their game to get your attention because they know you have plenty of other options. So someone feels like if they don't hurry up and make something right with you, even if you're still with this person, I feel like you guys are on the outs right now. Like you don't know where you stand with each other. Maybe you're not as speaking as much as you want to. Maybe you just feel like, you know, the energy is off between the two of you. And let's grab one more. We have... Apology, confession, mending relationship, and rebuilding. Um, the next card after that is watching you. They've been watching your social media to see what you post and get clues to know how to approach you. All right, so let's get into your horoscope. Alexa, what is Aquarius horoscope for today? Here is the horoscope for Aquarius today. Gather the support or help of friends if you need it. Enlist their aid in any projects that need completing or require the effort of more than one. You may feel inclined to talk, but those close to you may not be readily expressive. There could be a situation brewing with someone near and dear. Give it time to come to the surface. You're in an era of handling partnership matters in a new way. Okay, Aquarius, so that is your horoscope for today. So let's get into some tarot messages. <laughs> So let's see. So that card wanted to flip out of the deck. We have the Nine of Cups reversed. Spirit, what messages do you have for Aquarius? What do they need to know about their person and situation? We have the Four of Swords reversed. All right, so we have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. So some of you feel like um, something's not going to work out between you and a fire sign here with the Knight of Wands. We have the Five of Swords, and we also have the Devil. You may feel like there's a lot of toxic energy with you and this person, and we have Resistant to Change with the Death card reverse. All right, so we have Capricorn, Scorpio, Sagittarius energy with the Knight of Wands. Somebody feels bad about what they did to you with the Five of Swords. This person, um, there's a lot of conflict and disagreements with them. But I feel like whoever this is, Aquarius, is something that they want to work out with you. But the first three cards that came out for you were in the reverse. 
the Wheel of Fortune was reversed, the Four of Swords, and the Nine of Cups. I feel like this is your energy. Some of you are dealing with a fixed sign, such as yourself. You could be dealing with a Leo, a Scorpio, or a Taurus. You just don't know if things are going to work out. You don't know if you guys are going to be able to get back on track or fix something with this person. Or you don't know if you're going to allow this person to come back in and try to fix things with you. But the next card in the bottom of the deck is a Two of Cups. So I do see that you guys are compatible. There's a lot of love between the two of you. I feel like you guys are fine when everything is good, but it's like when you guys go through something, you may find it very hard to work things out with this person. It's like maybe neither one of you know who should apologize or who should talk first or how you guys should work things out. Things just get really weird when you go through something with this person. So we have a Hierophant here. Some of you may be married or you're dealing with a Taurus. Yeah, we have the Four of Wands. So for some of you, this is a marriage with the Hierophant, the Four of Wands. We have the King of Swords. I feel like this person is really bitter and angry right now with the King of Swords reverse. They're not speaking up. This could be your energy. Because this is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, King of Swords, male or female energy. Somebody is really angry and they don't have much to say. I feel like you have a lot to say, but you're like, I don't want to talk about it right now. So we have the five of pentacles. You may feel like this person has left you out in the cold and you don't know what you want to do about it with the judgment reversed here. Now I do have the three of pentacles with the star and then we have the eight of wands. So I see that things will be worked out between the two of you. You guys are going to heal this situation. You still have hope. You still have faith in this. But you don't know to what degree. You're like, I don't know how we can fix this. I don't know how to fix it. I feel like it's more so that you and this person don't know how to come back together. You may have felt like this person hurt you in some kind of way. Because the judgment card is here and you're like, I'm not ready to make up my mind on whether I want to accept this person back. There's something, there's some self-doubt here. You're... um. It's like you want to talk to this person. You want things to work out, but you're doubting if it will. We have the Eight of Swords here with the Eight of Pentacles reverse and the Strength card. So for some of you, again, it's definitely a Leo. This card is coming out twice here in your reading. So some of you are definitely dealing with a Leo. I feel like there's a lot of love between you and this person. This did come out in your pre-shuffle as well. And I feel like this person is plotting on how to get you back, how to fix this situation with you. There's someone here who has unconditional love for you, but they just keep messing up. Um, with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, I see a new beginning. But I also feel like there's delays. There's going to be delays with this new beginning with this person. Especially if, you're, if you guys are dealing with a Leo. And I feel like the reason why there's going to be delays in this situation, because you don't see how things can come back together with the Eight of Swords. You're in your head like, um, there's a lot of negative thoughts. And I feel like the reason why there's a lot of negative thoughts, Aquarius, is because... Whatever this person did to you, you're not over it. And you still love them, but you're like, just because I still love you don't mean I should get over whatever you did to me. Something that you think about that this person did or said is very triggering for you. And I feel like you want to give them a new chance, but you're not sure if you should with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Maybe there's some sort of truth and clarity that you want when it comes to this person. But the Justice card here could be a Libra that you're dealing with. Or it has something to do with the third party situation with the Three of Cups. And you're like, I need answers. And I feel like you're going to get them. Because we have new insights, new ideas, mental clarity, and truth. 
So we have two aces here. We have one in the reverse and we have one in the upright. So I do see that you're doubting if things could work out, but you're gonna get some truth and clarity that's gonna bring some justice to the situation. Um, karma, we have fairness, you know, truth is revealed. This person may even have some legal issues here that they're dealing with. They could be holding back from you because of that. Maybe this person has a lot going on, but I feel like they're going to come towards you and tell you the truth about something here. And you guys are going to be able to work something out with the eight of pentacles and the three of wands. Yeah, you're waiting for someone. You're waiting to see if you can have this new beginning after this person has betrayed you and stabbed you in the back with the Ten of Swords. I feel like some of you are waiting for them. You're like, okay, like, you know what you did to me. So come in and fix this situation. King of Wands. With the Eight of Cups. So this person may have walked away from you. Or if they didn't walk away and end things, they may have turned their back on the situation. Sorry, guys, about the cards that I keep moving, but they are slipping out of my hands. Um, with the Eight of Cups here and the King of Wands, some of you are dealing with the Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius that betrayed you in some kind of way. And you're like, okay, if you want this new beginning with me, if you want to make things work, then you need to come in and you need to fix this. And I feel like that's what you guys are waiting on. You're like with the Three of Wands. You're like, I'm not... Um, you don't feel like you should take action. But I do feel like you're willing to work on this if this person comes toward you. If this person takes action and put the effort in to fix the situation, I feel like you are willing to work on this situation. But again, there's something here that they did with the Seven of Swords. Betrayal, deception. And you're feeling like, I don't want to let them get away with that. Because what is that telling this person? That if I let them get away with whatever they did to me, that this person could come in and do this again. So you guys have a lot of conflict here within yourself. This is um, the Page of Swords here with the Five of Wands. We also have the Ten of Wands. So I feel like this is a heavy burden for some of you. You're keeping your eye on the situation or this is this person. So flip it and reverse it how it is for you. If it's resonating, it's going to be different for each and every one of you. Um, with the five of wands here, I just see a lot of conflict. And I feel like your person is like, oh, okay, well, we can fix the situation. It's no big deal. But you're like, no, it is a big deal because you betrayed me. You lied about something. You were sneaky about something here. And I don't feel good about it. I don't know how to get over it. I don't know what to do about it. And I feel like you carry this energy around with you. And it's hard for you to make up with this person. Because maybe it's just that you don't trust them anymore. And it, I feel like if you didn't walk away from the situation, Aquarius, you came close to walking away from this person. All right, so let's see. So what messages do you have for Aquarius? Yep, we have the moon. You feel like there's still some secrets. The three of swords. The chariot reverse. Some of you may be dealing with a cancer or a Pisces. And there's a lot of heartache and emotional pain here. So if you think about something and you get depressed about it and it's keeping you guys from moving forward, you just feel like there's, there's more that's hidden or something that's unseen. You're like, I really don't know what's going on. This person tells me one thing, but it could be something else. And because I can't see it, I don't know. They've lied to me before. So I, should I trust them again or not? Uh, six of Cups, Nine of Pentacles. This person sees you as everything here. They don't want to lose you. We have the Ace of Wands. We have the World's Reverse. There's someone here who's trying to figure out what to do about the situation. With the Seven of Cups, the World Reverse, Ace of Wands. Could be a Scorpio or an Aries for some of you. Nine of Pentacles. The six of cups here. There's somebody wants a reconciliation. I didn't mean to say Aries. I meant to just say uh, Scorpio. I don't know why I say Aries. Um, 
Some of you could be dealing with an Aries. All right, so we have the Six of Cups, the Nine of Pentacles. Someone looks up to you. They see you as their everything. They see you, like they, put, they sort of put you on a silent pedestal. They feel like no one compares to you or whatever you've done for this person in the past. They feel like losing you, like they'll never find anyone else like you. And so with the Seven of Cups, they're trying to figure out what type of choice do they have. There is wishful thinking here, though. There's a lot of wishful thinking on this person's behalf. With the Ace of Wands, they're, they know that there can be growth if they take the initiative. But I feel like this is someone that may be afraid to take the initiative because they know how you feel. They know you still feel like this with the Three of Swords. That you're so heartbroken or maybe you bring this up a lot to this person and they feel like every time they talk to you that you want to talk about what they've done to betray you and I feel like this person may want to move past things and you're like no well we can't move past things until I'm I'm over it or something like that and you know I just feel like it's going to take time for you to get over whatever this is that has happened here so let's get a couple more oh wow nine of swords or I could even shuffle the Nine of Swords sort of flipped over here. We also have the Ten of Cups. We have the Sun. There is a Leo headed in your direction. And there's an air sign. A Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius. And a Leo with the Sun card. They feel like you guys can still have the Ten of Cups together. You're not so sure. Nine of Swords. Anxiety. You have a fear of being back with this person. I feel like if this person would not have done whatever they did to you, um, you wouldn't have this fear of being with them. But there's a fear. You're like, okay, what if they do this again? Then what do I do? Well, I'll just say this. I feel like you're going to take your time with the situation, Aquarius. And you're going to use your best judgment. Um, this person may come towards you really quickly, but you're going to slow them down because of this energy. You have an anxiety. You have a fear of being back with this person. You want to. I feel like you definitely still love them. And you feel like, you know, you can have this Ten of Cups, but you're like, how? And you're you're like, they have to fix this. Your back is turned to the situation. You're like, I there's nothing I can do. I didn't hurt myself. They hurt me. And that's how you're looking at the situation. So those are the messages that I have for your reading. Thanks for watching my channel and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.